Hey guys, Renee with Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here, and we just sold the last 90 days, $81,976 and 47 cents. So there's a lot of eBay channels out there and different buying and selling channels that always talk about how much money to make, what they do things for, but then they never really show you. We're gonna do something. We're actually gonna go into our eBay dashboard, which you should see in the background, and we're gonna highlight that in a few seconds. And we're gonna go over through what sold, how much it sold for, um, you know, if I can remember, I'll tell you where the stuff comes from, how much I paid for stuff. And you actually get to see our actual sales on our eBay store. Um, I'm also going to give some tips and tricks and some questions that people were asking and why we're saying, hey, Renee, you're doing this wrong. And I'm going to explain why am I doing this and why it works for us. Um, I'm also going to address a haters comment. I was actually going to show it, but the guy just deleted the whole thread. So hopefully... Um, Maybe he thought a light of day, I don't know. And then I'm gonna read some of your other comments later. Okay, too. whenever we do these videos, I get the messages of people saying, hey, you just showing off, you're making me feel bad. Why are you showing off or you're making a lot of money? Um, it's not right, you shouldn't say you make that many sales. People are struggling. I'm like, okay guys, so if you know me, you watch the videos, uh, we're not the type of people that are waiting for people to do stuff. We go out and make the money. The reason we do these videos is because we love you. We want to inspire you. And there's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of people trying to tell other people, don't get in the resale business. You can't make any money. It sucks. It doesn't work. These guys are fake. Uh, all they're doing is talk, talk, talk. Everything is fake. And the reason they're doing this is because they don't want you to make any money, guys. And America is about to get some really, really hard times. I've seen this several times before. The reselling business will boom. People will want to save money. Maybe some of the collectibles will go down. But guess what? Secondhand clothing, uh, different things, silver, gold, uh, stuff that people need. They're going to be looking to buy that stuff. So if you know how to resell properly, you can actually do really well in this type of economy. Last time the economy collapsed, my friend did really well in the economy. Bought a house for $550,000 that three years before sold for $1.1 million. So, you know, so it's because we love you and because you're part of our community. If you're part of Team Bargain Hunters, you're a part of our team and we want to share you. And we want to spread that knowledge. So, and we pretty much get as open as nobody else gets. So it's... We've shown it out of love. Um, if you like this type of stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us. If you guys thumbs up the video, the like button, it's absolutely free. And it really helps the channel with the algorithm and just part of Team Bargain Hunter. If you love us, guys, thumbs up. It really does make a big difference. Um, you can also do channel membership, but that costs like five bucks a month. But you can just subscribe, which is absolutely free. Make sure that if you subscribe, you got all your notifications on because a lot of people don't. They don't even get to see the new videos. That's about it. So let's go take a look into, um, let's go into the dashboard here. Where's my dashboard? Oh, okay, so I got to switch the scene. Okay, I just, hey, instant diet, guys. Huh? Great. So, but actually, before we go into the dashboard, I want to show one more thing. So one of the companies that totally supports us all the time is... ACR, America's Card Room Poker. Every time we need something, we do channel giveaways or I want to shoot a special video. Phil over there always says, hey, Renee, just call me whatever you need. We support you. You guys know I'm an avid poker player. I love playing poker. Pretty much America's Card Room is the number one site to play in America. And I use a Bitcoin or any kind of digital currency. And I put it on and off with America's Card Room. And ever since the quarantine has been happening, their tournaments are just off the hook. Um, next uh, month in July, I'm going to be playing the Venom. You can play that too. Last time I gave away like $7 million. First prize was a $1 million. Uh, I'm going to play that. I'm going to show a video of that too. So you guys definitely want to join it out. I'm going to put a link in America's Card Room with bonus code Renee, how you can join. I don't get paid anything for you guys joining, so it doesn't matter. But this is just, if you join, you get extra you get extra benefits, extra money, extra credit, stuff like this. So you want to join. Uh, I'm also getting my own avatar there, so you can come play with me soon. But yeah, America's Card Room is the number one poker site in America. You can legally play it, and it's a lot of fun, so go play it. All right, now we got that covered, because I love playing poker, and I would love playing poker with you guys if, you know, we'll have some poker meetups. All right, so here's the eBay site. By the way, this is the first time I'm shooting in... um and a video in this type of format so let me know if you like it or not over here um you see bargain hunter thrift so that's our store almost 2700 feet back now right before this quarantine we barely did any ebay because we're just so busy in our store we usually have about 100 items listed you can see the last six months 405 feedbacks 246 the last month also let's see how much stuff we have listed real quick you guys get to see our store a little bit 689 items right now. Let's see what our highest item is. 
these quartz crystal at twenty thousand a piece. So you guys actually saw these on storage was somebody just offered me ten thousand dollars for um I don't know which one but one of the two out of New York, and uh, Casey's like I don't want to sell it. So uh, we sold most comic books. So I was like yeah I'll take ten thousand dollars. So Casey's like I guess we don't so. I counted him with like seventeen thousand five hundred. I told Casey if they're willing to pay seventeen thousand five hundred, I'm selling it, and they didn't. So, I guess Casey wins on that one. Okay, back to our feedback. But let's go to the dashboard. That's what you guys really want to see, right? And later on, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks too. Make sure. So, sorry, a little bit. I'm a little bit distracted as I'm doing this video because I've never done this type of format. So. But I really would love to have your feedback. Also, the next two or three days, I'm dropping a video where somebody's about to get ripped off for several thousand dollars. And I mean, I don't know how to stop it because I don't know all the people bidding and stuff like this. But uh, somebody's about to make a huge mistake and you probably want to see that video. So today we did $237.24, which I think is the slowest day. And these are more these this is the slowest day so far um the last 90 days this these are the numbers by the way for the last 90 days also to be fair before you get confused ebay kind of changed how they're doing it so that number also includes whatever you charge for shipping plus it also co um, contains sales tax collected so eighty one thousand nine hundred seventy six forty seven cents the last 90 days we were almost at a hundred thousand dollars but we had a couple of big comic book sales originally which are off the books now last seven days we did just under sixty eight hundred last 31 days which i've been really busy listening um little you know forty eight thousand six hundred sixty five and then 90 days to eighty one thousand so what i'm gonna do we're gonna go to see what people actually now these are i'm if you see i'm highlighting right now paid and shipped so these are not returns these are actually paid and shipped because you get cancellations all the time. Um, I don't know. That says five hundred dollars less now. I don't know why, but whatever. Maybe because these couple zeros right here got taken off. They were refunds. But which is kind of funny because it says zero, so maybe they don't count it. But actually, that was covered by eBay insurance. This was just an exchange. Um, I gave him his money back. Well, actually, no. Why does he have his money back? That's kind of weird. I have to check that. Oh, no, you know what? He repaid me. I just did a return it and he reordered it. That's what we did. Okay. Uh, this guy just gave his money back because we shipped him the wrong figure. I told him to keep it. And then I shipped him a second figure for free. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to start with highest first. So you guys get to see how numbers rake up because we did sell a few big comic books. Total. Okay. Tales of Suspense. That's actually sold to England. I... That's a thing that I did very few times because I usually don't ship directly unless I, we go through global shipping program. But this guy didn't want to do it, but he had like a thousand fourteen feedback, so I did it because there was something going on. They wouldn't ship to Belgium at the time, so he paid like two hundred seventy five dollars shipping with FedEx and paid forty seven hundred dollars for the book. Uh, Batman number two CGC forty six seventy five. By the way, next week I got a CGC video coming out, and I got a two hundred comic book order with CGC right now. The, these comic books right here come from the comic book quarter house. If you haven't seen those videos yet, you definitely want to see it. We sold a Hulk 181 for 2700 which is like, that's eh, more on the low end. But, you know, it came out of a deal where I didn't pay that much money. Captain America number 18. Um, $2,000. So this offer, I think we had it listed originally for like 2400 Nobody ever really offered anything. You couldn't really find many comps to it. All of a sudden, I get a guy offering me $2,000. I'm like, take it, sold this book right here, seventeen fifty. Um, we had that listed for two thousand dollars, so the guy made a really reasonable offer. Okay, so those were the comic books. Now this right here, this was with global shipping. Take care, take advantage of the global shipping program, guys. You guys are protected through eBay. I listed these puzzles, and I li literally sold them an hour later. These come from the comic book order house. They were puzzles, and they were open. I mean, they were actually brand new, but there's the, the um. What word am I using for the the covers were falling off, so the plastic. So we just took it off because it was so old. This guy was in England, uh, Gavin Canham. We we talked, spoke several times. Super nice guy. Is four thousand feet back. Um, he took all five. I think I had them listed for three ninety nine each, which was on the high end. But there was some that are really hard to find. They just don't pop up. He's like, look, I'll take all five if you do three hundred dollars each plus shipping. So fifteen hundred dollars. That sale literally took me an hour. Actually, not even yet. They were listed for about an hour, probably less. 
Um, the Bose speaker, so that's really funny. Uh, if you guys watched the video, um, the thumbnail says score alert. And of course, in that video, we got a lot of the haters coming in saying, Renee, you're an idiot, you shouldn't have bought that. They've been in storage, probably nothing is working, everything is corroded. So we sold 90% of the Bose system so far. I think I got a 4.2 speaker left, which I priced higher because they're just hard to find. I'm not in a hurry to sell them. And um, what else do I got? I think 201s, I got one set left, if I didn't just sell them. But this guy right here, he was actually a local guy. He bought the uh, 25,551 and the 12 for a total of 1,050. And we just met up. He paid me in cash. Uh, this Matt Sorrentino, I think he's actually watching our YouTube videos too, he said. So um, he bought a Star Wars figure. His total bill was 850 on that. Exo Squad, Star Wars figure, Star Wars figure. Not a both set. This set right here was 550. We shipped that. This set was 600. That was a local pickup. The guy said, uh, and sometimes people say, you know, people don't want to buy your old stuff. They don't want to pay for that. Or people say, I can't buy it used cheap. So this guy's story was really interesting. He's actually a CEO of a local company. I Googled it. It's actually a major, major company. And the reason he's buying it, he has a yacht and they had a custom wall built that was exactly for that system a few years ago. In the meanwhile, the system went out and he wanted to buy the same thing, brand new. So $600. He said it's much cheaper than having to rebuild the wall, do carpentry and stuff, you know. Uh, Batman number 84 brought 600 bucks. Here's a rare uh, early Dave Stevens cover book brought 600. What was that for? 9.8. So you guys seen the story. You find me find those in the comic book quarter house. Hulk number 5 for 525. X-Men 3 for 500. R2-D2 400. These sold like within 10 minutes. Uh, Lakers promo, Lamar Odom, Nike. I don't know if these were Co Co um, Kobe's. I think these might have been Kobe's too. Sold for $420 um, pretty much immediately. Now this right here, Saijo Chia Joe exclusive Copper Storm. That If you look at the videos recently, we spent $7,000. That was one of the figures. So each toy in that deal cost me $3.30. That one sold for $300. So my cost $3.30. Uh, Star Wars Sand People 375. Here's another Bose 501 399. This guy paid full price. Um, some kind of charity organization. I actually spoke to him on the phone. Uh, these right here. So a lot of people were telling me, "Hey, Renee, uh, you're an idiot. These plastic fantasy at all superstar figures are worth like 20 bucks a piece." I'm like, "Okay, well, I'll buy all you can get because right here I sold four of them." And his bill before shipping was $323.96. And actually, I think this was an international order. So when they order internationally, you actually get your full price on shipping. So his total thing was $4901 with tax. And he took a Jana Jameson. What's this one? Chloe, Ginger Lynn, and Dasha. And he paid me just for the figures without shipping $323. And I probably made another $30 or $40 on shipping. Nintendo Donkey Kong three fifty nine ninety nine. That listed for four hundred. I sent out a ten percent offer. Somebody bought it for three sixty. Not a Star Wars. Uh, what's this one? C three PO four twenty five. Uh, Mik Miko Catwoman three hundred fifty. Auto Art BMW two seventy. Not a Bose system right here. SE five for two ninety nine. Aquaman for three fifty. Here's a bunch of McFarlane action figures. So this guy bought a total of nine figures, and it was $294. Same thing. Those figures come from the same deal. It cost me $3.30 each. So what's that? Um, about $30 was a figures. My cost I sold for $294. Uh, Lego Star Wars said this was open. had some damage on it, so I put $300 on it. They usually go for $4.450. It was an open box item with a little bit of damage on the box. and took a week to sell, but then sold. DC Direct Superman, um, $300. Lamar Odom Game One shoes, three hundred bucks. This system right here made a mistake. Uh, CD three thousand brand new box um, sold for two hundred fifty bucks to actually a dealer. That's all this guy does to sell both stuff. I probably could have got four hundred on it. Made a mistake. Acoustimas five series two speaker sets two fifty. Just sold those. Jason X Movie Maniacs. Um, he took all three of them, so that was probably a deal of two hundred forty bucks. Now one of the eBay tips and tricks I've been telling you about. So I get a lot of email messages and people tell me, Renee. You got $15 on the figure and you charge $15 shipping. That is ridiculous. You know, that's people on there that charge seven, eight, nine dollars for shipping. I'm like, great, send me a link. And they send me a link and that figure I'm charging $15 for. They charge 25 bucks. They charge 25 bucks for, but they only charge you $9 shipping. I'm like, add the two numbers together and see what your totals you're paying. Because eBay taxes you on 
your total, what shipping and uh, the figure cost, that's what you pay tax on. And also uh, sellers pay that. So it doesn't matter if a seller for a dollar and charge you 99 shipping or do 99.99 free shipping. It's the same thing, okay, guys? So, um, but here, this is what I do. Here's, a, I get a big edge and stuff like this. So on this figure right here, we were charging, oh, let me see if I can go in if it shows the original price. Okay, we were charging 79.99. And fourteen ninety nine shipping. By the way, these figures we usually ship in two pounds. Super nice figure. We usually ship these. That cost us about two pounds to ship, and um, and then we, you know, priority mail. We package them nice and stuff like this. So if they go back east, it usually costs us twelve thirteen dollars shipping. There, is there cheaper ways to ship? Yes, but I don't want that. Also, another thing, a big eBay tip. Okay. If you always go for the cheapest customer, most of the time the cheapest customer is the biggest problem customer. The guy that wants to save everything, every little problem. He wants to save on this. He wants to save on that. It's the same guy because you do everything super cheap and then the figure comes damaged or it takes... You know, I had guys before tell me, Renee, just ship it first class. I know you say, oh, you're, you you're offer priority shipping and most of your stuff, but I want this media mail. I'm like, okay, fine. We'll ship it media mail. 30 days later, Renee, where is my item? What are you doing? I'm like, hey, buddy, you shipped in media mail, and in media mail, it told you it could take eight days. Sometimes it takes five days, but I've had it taken 50 days, you know, because media mail is basically, if there's room in the truck, we throw it on. If there's room in the plane, we throw it on. He's like, well, I don't, this is unreasonable. I'm like, look, go look at the tracking number. You ordered September 1st. I shipped September 1st. Now it's up to the post office. You want it to be absolutely ch the cheapest. Well, I don't agree. And he files a case. So we don't do that anymore. We do everything priority mail. I don't try to be the cheapest. I try to give good service, good quality. If you go to our feedback, which we can look at in a second, you'll see fast shipping, fast shipping, fast shipping, fast shipping. The cheapest of the cheap customers are usually a trouble. I can sell a Rolex for $10,000. I'll never hear nothing. You know, I have to call the people. like, hey, guys, I send you a $10,000 watch. Want to make sure everything is okay. Oh, yeah, my husband got it. It's, it's in the closet or whatever. You know, or even with a $1,000 watch or $500 watch. I sell a Timex for $9.99. Oh my God, I'm going to answer 17 questions. And, you know, I have to hire the National Guard to personally deliver it. So, um, because they want it immediately. I sold one to New York for $9.99. It was brand new in box and everything. It was a Timex, so some kind of watch that usually goes for 60, 70 bucks brand new. And the person left me negative feedback. This is on another account that we have. We have actually several eBay accounts. The person left me negative feedback saying the watch was, the, the battery wasn't brand new anymore. But it was like a collector's watch. And it was like a five-year-old model. So, And then, of course, I emailed them and they don't respond. They don't want to talk to you. So it's like funny. But anyway, so most people were charging for this figure, you know, $89.99. Some people $60, $70. So what we did is $79.99, $15 shipping. But then here in the listing, we always say, if you buy several items, we can combine shipping. Now, if you go to a toy store, a dealer probably can get 129 even 149 if they want to wait, depending where their locations are. If you're like in a mall in Vegas or like in some high-end stores, you probably do really well with that. Um, instead of $45 shipping, we charge the guy for all three figures, I think, $24.99. Now, by reducing the shipping price, it makes it cheaper than if you bought a whole bunch from several people. So if you go through a listing, you notice we get dealers buying stuff all the time. So that's another reason why you want to do shipping. Also, if you want to avoid returns and people trying to screw you and sending you stuff back, um, charge shipping. If you do free shipping, let's say you sell me something for $50 and I'm just messing around. Maybe I want a word uh, that happens a lot with clothes or maybe I just need it for the weekend, okay? I actually had a guy email me one time. It's like, hey, can you rent it to me? I'm in San Diego also. I'm like, no, we don't rent. It was like a speaker for base speaker, SWR. No, it was a Goliath. And maybe SL, well, maybe it's SWR or Goliath. I don't know. I'm getting Alzheimer. I'm like, no, we don't, uh, we don't do rentals and stuff. The next message is like, oh, you know, okay, so if I buy it and I don't like it, what's your return policy? I was like, ban use up block, you know, right away. And then I took the item off for two weeks because I know he needed it for the weekend. So, but, um, you know, so when they get free shipping, they're just going to buy it. And then if they return it, you cover shipping. Now, if they buy it and they just change their mind or something like that, you can deduct shipping. They got to pay to ship it back and you get to keep your shipping fee. So that discourages a lot of scammers. A lot of people are trying to scam you. They look for listings with free shipping. That's another little lesson. So, And, you know, some people like the lesson. Some people don't. You leave me in a thumbs up uh, downstairs if you like it. 
in the comments right below there. Also, what I meant to say, leave leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, you know. But these little tr ticks and trips makes a difference. A Master of the Universe just had a little damage on the inside. So people were asking, like, you know, 400, 350. One just sold for 250 in mint condition. So I put 199 by now. This actually went to England. The guy paid immediately. So I got paid shipping to Kentucky. 230 bucks. And on my Odom shoes, 250 Remember, you guys saw that video I did with all the model kits, and people were telling me, oh, you overpaid. Some of the stuff we put online, this guy bought five model kits, 240 bucks plus $50 shipping. What did he buy? I think this guy bought mainly yeah, Russian stuff. It's all T-34s, T-35s. This train rider that was in that same model deal, 250 bucks that lasted like a day. Um, McFarlane Toy Monster Twisted Fairy. So I think we're getting... Let me see what we had on these... $39.99 plus $15 shipping. Uh, we had 18 of them. We sold all 18. These same thing cost me $3.30. This guy right here, uh, we were just looking at. Come on. Don't lose my stuff. Okay. He bought, excuse me, he bought six of them. So he's most likely a dealer. For all th six, we charged him $30 shipping. Uh, you guys saw me buy this doll right here at Ivy Calvin's store. I think I paid $100 or $150. Bucks. We sold for $224. Not a G.I. Joe, $250. These water packs right here, oh my god, I must make the biggest mistake. Um, so this guy paid 250 bucks for 20 of them, but we've been selling these in three packs for 50 bucks with free shipping, and it cost us seven to twelve dollars with flat rate type A box. I almost threw them all away. I made a huge, huge mistake. So I looked these up originally, and they were coming back as 9.99, 19.99 water filters, and they weren't selling that good. And there were, there's a lot of different off brands. Um, I listed them for $19.99 for three pack, thinking they were lighter just because I had pictures I didn't have them in front of me. And uh, I thought I put 20 listings up. I sell one right away. I go take it to ship, cost me like 13 bucks to ship. And I'm like, shoot, by the time I pay eBay fees and everything, I make like three, four bucks in a three pack, which it's not really worth my time, but I probably had, um, you know, 150 auctions. So I'm like, okay, well, it's still $600 and we can do it. It's a good feedback builder and it just gives, gives good eBay activity. And then I thought I listed 20 listings, and after our first pack, nothing sold. So for like a month, they were just sitting, and we were doing some cleaning in the store in the warehouse. I'm like, just throw these away. Nobody's buying them. But then I said, you know what? Just leave it. We'll do it another day. I went back home, looked it up again. I realized I only listed one item. The reason none of them have sold is because I didn't list them. Did a little bit more research, figured my brand was a little bit better, sold a three-pack for 50 and as you go through later, we sold, I think, 200 three-packs or so, or maybe 150 three-packs. Uh, Tarzan, 225, Supra, Sky Top, uh, size 15, and Lamar Odom Prada, $200 for the two. I got 70 for the Supras, I think, and 130 for the Prada, which I was really surprised because I have a lot of Supra shoes, and uh, this is a deal actually in Germany, and people are buying Supra again, so that's good. Uh, Danbury Mint, Cookie Jars, Tea Bucket, 215 bucks. R2D2, Empire Strikes Back, 240 Brand new uh, Nike Lama Odom Players Edition, 230 bucks. I got like four or five pairs of that. Game one Nike Promo Sample Lama Odom, 230 bucks. Two more action figures. So, well, actually, no, 10. So he took seven and three. So this guy actually shipped to a place in Colorado, but I think he has a business in China. So he paid 20 bucks a piece plus $40 shipping total. And they cost me um, $66. So it's $330 per figure. Same thing right here. This Gia Joe Sigma does come from that same deal. Three thirty each, three figures, one hundred eighty bucks. Gorky Aviation one ninety nine. So this video is getting really long, so I'm just showing some of the stuff. I guess we go fast. These razor plates right here. Let's see which listing this is. If you guys watch my pallet deal, where so many people were saying they're fake, ninety one sold in this particular listing. That's for a three pack. Mm, Playmobil Barbie, 226. Oh, here's that controller. That was just in a recent video. So this is kind of a little bit rougher condition in the packaging. So you guys want to look out for these right here. This is in the video, the series that we're doing right now with the 25,000 action figures. $199 plus $15 shipping. I have another one listed for 150 I think. A different, little bit different controller. Playboy figure, you know, this one. Oh, so this was a rarer figure. This was Christy Canyon. $129.99. So I'll probably do these videos every 90 days if it gets a lot of thumbs up and you guys seem to like them. I mean, I get to see by the watch time, but you get to see some of the stuff that we're selling. So for one figure, $129.99.
and these are anatomically correct so you can address them and stuff I don't know I don't judge people I just sell this stuff uh, cover girls university satana 200 bucks McFarlane other worlds oh this one right here so remember I told you guys when we we're going through this this is part of the seven thousand dollar deal we had six of them actually I don't know where there's only five listed here I think I sold one directly in the store 129 bucks a piece with the cape uh, another G.I. Joe 175 this one right here just came out of the 25,000 figures Shadow Squadron 150 bucks so as you see right now a lot of toys because I'm listing a lot of toys and we have quantity of them Oh, here, brand new. This is a video game, Turbo Graphics Sealed, 199 bucks. Actually, you know what? I think it sold for 180. I gave the person 10% off. So when you go back in the old listing, it just shows what um, what you were had it priced. But right here, yeah, we sold it for 180. Hopefully, you guys can see my mouse cursor is good on the screen. Another Gorky plane, 165. Model, 230. Press train, 160. I got a bunch of press trains. I need to list model. Oh, so here they got all this Priya stuff. This came out of a deal where I bought a doll store. I don't know if I ever put a video together on this, but five pieces, 110 bucks. G.I. Joe, Adult Superstars. Here, two more figures. These brought 140 for the two. Cobra. Um, Red Hawk Spiral, 100 bucks. Had two of these, but I actually sold these in several packs. I think I originally had about eight of them. Some with helmet, some without helmet, but pretty much the same price. This came out of a music store we bought. Um, here's a model. So you always want to pay attention with model. This is from Aliens, a drop shit. And this box is like, look look at the corner of this box. It's really rough shape. Um, we got 150 bucks for this. And this sold like within the first day of listing. So no discounts or anything. Plus $15 shipping. I don't ship anything for free anymore. I'm, like, I'm not looking for the cheapest customer. Uh, five more of these pre train pieces, $141. Um, Star Wars. I almost had made a mistake. I actually had this priced in my store. So this was in my store for 50 bucks, And it was sitting there for two months and nobody ever bought it. Uh, I put it on eBay. It sells the first day for $149. So, you know, somebody could have picked that in my store. Made some good profit. Uh, oh, here. Um, so here, this is a problem. So you guys, look at my old videos. I bought a bunch of slot cars. So I think I spent like $7,000 for the deal. Like a comic, slot cars, and red lines. So I sold this one like literally the first night for 150 bucks. But it's a rare figure in the box. Normally, if it's just loose, it's 30 40 bucks. But I have like, you know, I think 100 cars from these and i need to match up the boxes with the cars some of them are right some aren't so if you watch my videos uh, if you go back through the old videos you actually see when we buy those everything pretty much you see you see is buying three model kits 130 these right here mpc guitar modules if you didn't know what these were like i had to research these These were for special guitar made by mpc and you could put them in the guitars and it does different effects and this one uh so it's 199 but i think it sold for 150 so you want to pay attention for those because they look like garbage. Sold for one forty, not a spawn for one twenty nine. Gorky seventy nine. Um, trilogy. What's this? Oh, Game Boy games. Three Game Boy games for one hundred and fifty bucks. Um, this was the rare one right here, the Yoda one. Ninety nine, but no. So actually, this guy paid full price. It's the only thing I, he was buying three games, and I told him like, look, you buy all three games, I ship them for free. But he paid full price, no discounts. So, um, 149 bucks with shipping for three games. Bandit Trans Am. I got a bunch of these. These came. So, I got an old video, and I'm probably going to remaster it because it was really early in the channel and the quality sucked and not that, not that much exposure. But go back to American Auctioneers. It says we spent $33,000 with American Auctioneers. And these were some of the messed up ones, but like this car, 130 bucks in messed up box. So, I tell people these prices, and they always tell me they're fake. Not an NPC module, uh, 129. Star Wars, 110. Here's more of these um, Legend Spiral. Halo figures. I had these in my store. They weren't moving that well. They were so so. I'm going to sell them like crazy on eBay. This guy bought six of them for 104 bucks. Um, you want to look for these guys. So these are Ral, Ral Pathar. You'll find these on yard sales and stuff like this. Um, and it's, it's really funny. That's like. Um, 
unless you're really an expert on those, there's no rhyme or reason. Just just buy them all. Some of them sell for 10, 20 bucks. Some of them like this one right here. So this is an 80s one sold for 80 bucks. But another 80s one might only bring 10, 15 bucks and it's sold pretty quick. So you want to look at these for early Dungeons and Dragons type of stuff. Raul Potha. Money. Whenever I see it, I just buy it. Uh, a lot of people comment on the last video in this that people will like this Phantasm. Sold. So we were asking 130. Somebody offered 110 on it. I'm like, that's fair. Plus we'll charge 30 shipping. Ronda Rousey, two figures, 100 bucks. More Cliff Parker McFarlane's. Just got about two figures. Paid 100 bucks for two figures. Remember, all these figures right here, they are part of my, cost me three thirty dollars each. Oh, you know, I might have some more of these Mary Thlotter, but so we had five lists of five sold. So let's see what the other one he bought because he paid a hundred for the double deal. So also tell me if you want me to make these videos longer or not. Okay, he bought Bethany Bleed for 60 bucks. Two more left. Look how he's... Now also here's another thing. You see how you kind of see her panties right now? So McFarlane is really known for this. He does different versions. He actually does versions sometimes where the figures will be topless if you see those and a lot of people that resell they don't pay attention to that but if you see when anything mcfarlane where it looks um almost sexual if, if you see anything that looks way more sexy or way more extreme so like he'll have certain ones like there's one in a bathtub where she's just topless they're worth like four five five four five times the price but this she's in lingerie there's probably other versions where she might be covered up a little bit more i don't know in that particular figure but you definitely want to look out for that in McFarlane. Also, when you get McFarlane stuff on the sports stuff, you want to look like there's a Tom Brady. The regular version might be 30 bucks, but if you get the snow version, it's 200 Most of the McFarlane football figures, if they don't wear a helmet, they're usually pretty good. You know, so like an Emmett Smith, no helmet is $200. His regular helmet one is $40. And there's also jersey variations. That's also dirty, not dirty. But every figure is different, so you just got to find a figure and check it out. This guy bought three figures for 103 bucks. Matthew, thank you, Matthew. He's a YouTube watcher. He actually spent a lot of money with us. He bought several deals. Um, oh, here's the Tom Parady. Let's see what's it. This is a variant. He's sold for 110. Let's see what the variant is. A dirt variant. Okay, so you see his knee pads right there? And on the thighs, and you just see that little bit of dirt? Because of that, it's a much rarer figure. And it's $110. I think the same figure also has the snow variant, and then it's like $200. And then there's the clean variant, which was the common produced one. It's probably 20 or 30 bucks. So, like, all these little things you just need to know about. You just need to learn. This is the silver jewel. You've been selling this like crazy. More Halo, st Halo stuff. Uh, more um, Dorco packs. Action figures. Like, this figure right here, I didn't think it would sell at all. Um, oh, I still have three left. So we had eight listed, 50 bucks a piece. We sold five out of the eight, plus $15 shipping. Usually what also happens when we get down to two or three, then they start selling faster. It's just so funny how stuff goes. By the way, we do promote all our items. Okay, let's go to another page. Well, this video is already 33 minutes. I think I have to cut it off. Bachman, this buyer is going to return it. Uh, this just came out. Literally listed that sold same day for 90 bucks. Sergeant Scholes sold for 100. Transformer. I think I talked about this in the video. This is the Japanese exclusive, and the only way you can tell is because it has those two blue lights uh, lights right there. I guess they're supposed to be lasers or something. But that sold for $99.99 plus $15 shipping. In toys, you really want to research and you want to pay attention to variants. All these companies just do variants on purpose. A pair of Air Jordans for 100 bucks. Old AMT model kit for 100 bucks. Let me know in the comment sections. Do you guys want these videos to be really long? Should I do every 90 days just a two or three hour video? Because we sell a lot of stuff. Oh, here's John Carpenter's Christine. Super cool. That sold for 99 plus $20 shipping. At least that was the asking price. Let's make sure. So $89.99. So what happened, so I actually sent out a best offer where I gave 10% discounts and somebody picked it up. Models, uh, old Gibson. Yeah, I'm just showing some stuff. I'm not going to show every item. These came from a music store where we just bought half of the store inventory. We had stuff back then. I wasn't do doing YouTube. Oh my God, guys. Like, look up what dead stock means and old inventory. I bought Altec speakers, brand new in the box. Things like this. I got boxes of this stuff still. It's just a matter of me 
getting time to list it all. Isn't that die cast cars to car action figures? Here's the box. Remember that video game I showed you guys earlier? So what we did, the video game was sealed, the box was separate. So we sold the box separate, just the box and the flyer for the box. And we got $99 for this one. Let me go back to the other listing, see if we gave any kind of discount. We might've did a 10% discount on that. Um, no, 99. And then here's another thing from the music store. I just discovered that. And like, I still have boxes and boxes. Russ Cresco, very tone. You don't find these listed or anything like that. I put up, excuse me, I put 150 bucks on it. Or maybe, you know, 149.99. Let me see what it's sold for. Too many items, I can't remember them all. 149.99. Okay, the guy offered 100. So we took it, plus he paid $15 shipping. This was in a recent video, the taxi capsule right away for 85. Oh, remember I told, I think I showed this in the video. So this is a regular coffee mug. So looks like nothing special. Didn't even look like nothing special to me, okay? It's made by a company called, let me show you the bottom right here. It's made by a company called Applause. And uh, that company, a lot of this stuff is not that great, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of, it's cool collectibles, but most of it is it's not major. Now, the reason this cup is good, apparently, it was featured in um, Chris World. Clark Criswell. So somewhere in the movie, um, they must pick up that cup. I put it on for $89.99. Oh, let me go back. Let's see what we sold it for. $89.99. It sold full price plus shipping. So $112.55. So, and that actually sold pretty quick. I think it was listed for a week and all of a sudden, bam, sold. Which that was surprised. So you guys want to pay attention. Coffee cups. Starbucks coffee cups. You guys know those are like crazy money, right? Early stuff. Uh, classic monsters. This was rough. Eighty-five bucks. Jewelry was selling like crazy. Here's a wrestler. Not a Star Wars game. hundred bucks. Not a Star Wars game. hundred bucks. Satana. Hundred bucks. Dragon models, guys. If you see this brand right here, they're made by Bandai. Bandai is the main company, but it's um, Dragon. Pretty sure Bandai owns Dragon. Yeah, Bandai owns Dragon. So this is a German uh, German Kampfgruppe commander. So it would be like an officer. Battle, battle officer. This one brought 85 bucks. Whenever you see this brand dragon, I don't care if it's Chinese soldiers, American soldiers, German soldiers, Vikings, World War II, whatever, just buy them. You know, a, sh a crappy dragon, Casey told me I have to have better language. A crappy dragon soldier will be worth 40, 50 bucks. I mean, I don't think I've ever sold one under 30. That must've been rough packaging and stuff. And then some of them go up to three, four, 500 bucks. So I sold a bunch of these actually, but I think it's past the 90 days, so you won't see that. This right here, Katniss Hunger Games. So I don't know where I got this. But when I got them, I thought they were garbage. But 60 bucks, full price, $10 shipping. I just got some more. I know I have more of these figures in this new 25000 action figure deal. Now, they don't sell super fast. And they said, like, I think this was probably sitting for two or three months. But it sold. Guitar paddles. Or So here's a listing of the three-pack water packs. Let me show you. So sometimes we redo listings. So like I might list 30, especially if I have it in a warehouse and I know I got 50 boxes, but I don't, I've checked every one of them, make sure there's no damage or anything like that. Okay, why are we not loading here? Come on. There we go. So you can see in that particular listing, the three bucks I told you guys earlier, $50 free shipping, 121 sold. So that alone, what's that? $5,000, $6,000, $6,050 just in this water pack. I was going to throw them away. Double check your work. No matter how good you think you are, you're still going to make mistakes. Uh, let me see. Disney, uh, Furbaka, 40 bucks. Akira, 70 bucks. Flash Gordon model, 80 bucks. Another porn star. This one is Inari Vox for $80. I said on the video $50 and a lot of people attacked me saying, hey, you stupid, you know what you're talking about. Again, I don't try to be the cheapest. Never do. And, you know, just patient. If you see a figure out there, guys, and there's only two or three listed and one guy's asking 40 and the next guy's asking 90, put $79.99 on it. Put $69.99 on it. See how many you sell. If there's only so many available, eBay has millions and millions of customers. She-Hulk, 80 bucks. Halo figures. Oh, here's a bunch of this collar stuff. Um, oh, I sold them both. I think I might have some more of these. I need to check. Uh, this is just a little nut. 80 bucks. Oh, no, 40 bucks. Oh, the guy bought both of them. That's what. That's why I came up with 80. Oh, here's another Tom Brady. We just talked about this. Let's see which one this is. 
So this is Tom Brady. Let's see what it says on here. Uh, just it's, it's rookie figure, rare, but there's no dirt. Or actually, there's actually some dirt on the jersey. Oops, hopefully I didn't mess up. Or maybe that's just how that one was. Um, no snow version. This one probably 80 bucks. Actually, I could have made a mistake on that if the dirt was a variant. So sometimes it's funny. So sometimes and McFarlane really messes with you because they want you to buy their figures. So sometimes the standard figure might be the dirty one and then the clean version might be the variant. So you just pretty much got to look up on every figure. Right here, Distinguished Flying Cross. I believe this is an American award, right? Yeah, Battle Ribbon. Um, it's not awarded, so that means... So one of the things you want to look for, and I think this was a World War II box. You can tell on the boxes. Let's see. See in the back right here, there's not a name on it, which means it probably was never awarded or was like after ordered, uh, less valuable. If they've been awarded, it's easy to track down the family or sometimes if it's somebody famous, you know, uh, especially, you know, if you have from different countries. Could imagine if you get like um, Blue Max that says uh, Richthofen on it. Probably priceless. And then these boxes, these pretty much, you can tell um, these are usually World War II boxes. Now, some of them are used later, but it's it's, a, it's an older box. It's right around that area. Brought 80 bucks. Just showing you guys some stuff that's worth. Bronze Star. So this is a very common award. Same thing, World War II. Not awarded. Usually, if it's, if it's named, there will be a name in there. Pair of Michigan Nike Air Jordans. I had those listed for 100 bucks. They were listed for like a year. Nobody bought them. Somebody offered 60 bucks. I'm like, sold. Check this out. PS3 controller. All stock. Brand new. Never opened. 70 bucks. Wow, this video is getting way too long. Remember, I told you these the other day. We list these for 80 bucks. But they actually sell for 60 Sometimes they sell for more, sometimes they sell for less. And right now there's a bunch listed cheaper because people are just selling stuff. So, um, I don't know. You have to be patient. Like, I try to get a lot of toy inventory listed, and then around Christmas it all sells. Here's another one, Xbox controller. And video game guys, they get, I was so mad when I sh share knowledge about video games because they don't want you guys to know. Here, just a simple Xbox controller. I, don't, I, think that, I think that's for the original Xbox system. That's not even 360. 70 bucks plus $10 shipping. Uh, come on. Did I click it? There we go. What else do we got here? Jewelry, Nikes, controllers, figures, models. Oh, check these out. Peelers. So these are really hard to find and they sell slow. Sometimes these will go on auction for only 10, 20 bucks. But then if you look on a completed, sometimes they'll bring 80 bucks. So this is an item where I tell people all the time, don't do auctions. Unless you've got something really rare or high demand, or you really don't know what the value is, auctions are stupid. Figure out a price, put a price on there. Um, if you're not sure, you can always start high and go down. But these right here, I sell them for, you know, uh, so this is punched. I got 70 bucks. Unpunched, I think I get 80 for them. They don't sell fast, but I'll sell like four or five a year. You know, I probably have 20 or 30 of them and they take a little room in a box. So I rather, that's another thing, guys. A lot of people say, you just need to flip it. And people always ask me, Renee, can you wholesale us boxes? I'll buy, uh, somebody just wanted me to sell them. Uh, well, this was, I don't even want to talk about it. This guy was annoying me. But um, people say, wholesale me stuff. I don't wholesale. I'm not looking for the quick uh, for the quick penny or the quick nickel. I believe in a slow time. I used to be the guy that used to want the quick nickel and turn everything every week. But you don't make money in that long run. You need to build up money. You need to build up inventory. And stuff sells every day. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't for eBay... Um, our store really be hurting because the store's losing like 15 grand a month right now. We're still close, but we're just really working on eBay. Um, Battletech Unseen Marauder. So remember I told you guys earlier these figure sets? So this is for, um, I think, Warhammer 20k. I could be wrong. Or oh, it's Battletech. I think it's Battletech. That's actually the game. But same thing, type of figure. I was asking $129.99 on it. I just couldn't really find anything. It's been listed for six months. Didn't really get much response on it. Oh, shoot, I should have moved the mouse. Now I got to go down. What is that? Well, you guys just seen it. Let me go down here. But what happened? So six months, I didn't really get any offers. No response. Somebody offers me 70 bucks. Sold. Lancaster, another porn star for $62.99. Marvel Legends, Moonlight, 63 bucks. I'm trying to see some different stuff here. Another porn star, 60 bucks. Another porn star, 60 bucks. So all the haters out there that told me I'm totally crazy in the porn stars. They're worth max 20 bucks. 
please ship them because I'm so pretty much sold out. I got a few left. Uh, NBA McFarlane Club exclusive backboard, sixty bucks. Both of those sold. Rings. Uh, what's the snake model kit? Forty bucks. All right, I think that's enough to go through right now. Um, see this model kit right here, Thunderbirds. I got a price high. It doesn't sell fast, but I got seventy bucks. I got like ten of them. So if I sell one or two a year, it's fine, you know. But see, it's like a store. Like people tell me that's been sitting in your store for a year. I'm like, okay, I don't care about that. I don't care if something sits for thirty days or a year. All I care about is that my store does so much every week or so much every month. It all evens out. Let's say I have a magic number. I want to do forty thousand dollars a month. As long as I get that number, I don't care what sells. If it's a brand new thing or something slow, it all evens out. And you guys, I'll tell you another really good lesson. So I had these water testing kits. Okay, it's um. Uh, it's used by science, science places. And when we moved back to California, we were leaving Las Vegas. This was already like, I don't know, almost 10 years ago now, maybe. Probably close to 10 years ago, yeah. And we came back. So I had these listed on eBay for like 2,500 bucks. Like I couldn't find them for sale anywhere. They were online. They were like 70 bucks a tube. And I think each box had like 48 tubes on it or so. And um, no, nobody really made any office requests. I almost threw them away, but I still had room. So I put them in the back of the truck. We get to San Diego, we unpack. All of a sudden, they get an offer from a guy. A guy goes like, hey, I can't use a, a box of all 48, but I'll give you like, um, for 20 of them, I'm willing to give you like 800 bucks. I'm like, ah, I hate doing that, but I'll tell you what, I'll just take 1500 for, for all 48. Bam, sold. So you got to be patient, guys. Be patient, get your money for the stuff. You know, you don't always have to fight to be the lowest. It doesn't matter. There's so many potential customers. eBay has millions and millions and millions of customers. These right here, I actually wholesale these to my friend. And that's a mistake when I wholesale stuff. Um, at one time, I had 20 or 30 of these. Okay, I was wholesaling to my friend for 10 bucks a piece. Now I put one on eBay. It lasted like a day, 50 bucks. So just be patient with stuff. Build your inventory. Have a shop. Run it like a business. I tell you guys all the time, run it like a business. Run it like a business. Oh, more action figures. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you. Oh, here, look, an old hard drive. Somebody just, I don't know why they buy it because it's old. It's only a one terabyte, but 50 bucks, brand new sealed. You know, but pe people will buy stuff. And by the way, some people had to have that hard drive for like 15 bucks. But I've had a brand new seal, 50 bucks, and somebody wanted to buy it. I don't be the cheap. If I can't give you guys one lesson, eBay, don't be the cheapest. Don't do free shipping. Uh, you know, spend a little bit extra money. Give a quality product. Let's take a look at some of our feedback. Here, we'll click one more item, then we'll click click on our feedback. What's this? Uh, Panther. That's sold right away. So that okay, we'll go on this one. Oops, that was just a delivery. So this one just came out of the twenty five hundred dollar figures that lasted for like an hour. I put fifty bucks on it. A um, little bit damage up here in the left top corner. I can do a lot more. So if you guys want me to do these videos long and just really make a video where we go through items and we talk about them. And it's going to be a little bit more diversified. We just happen to get a whole bunch of toy deals. Oh, we got a message. Want to see what the message is? Paid ship now. Okay, another Dorker set. So people were telling me, Renee, you're stupid on these razors. They don't sell. Nobody buys these. You know, so this type of razor right here. And I thought this is one of my crappy razors, pay seven. Because um, the demand wasn't high, but 72 of them sold at 30 bucks a piece. That's $2,100. We shipped these for free. cost me about $3. So somebody just bought one of those. And the new one is uh, Deadstock Pre. Or let's see what they bought. They bought a little car. And they paid $30. And they paid $9.99 shipping. Now people say, Renee, you could ship. This is like maybe... 10, 12 ounces. You could ship this for six bucks for first class. I'm like, yeah, I don't want that guy. I want to put that in a priority box. I want to bubble it, wrap really good, and try to get that to the custom in usually two to three days. Now with everything that's going on, sometimes four to five days, but usually two to three days. Happy customers. And because that's the service that we offer, check out this feedback. 246 the last month, 405 the last six months, 472 to 12 months. But because we have really haven't done that much, I have one negative feedback, and it was something really stupid. It was, uh, I don't even think the guy ended up buying the item, he just didn't like it. Uh, that I wouldn't do what he wanted me to do, and I didn't even fight it on eBay. I probably could have gotten that removed, but our feedback is so good, it doesn't matter. Uh, speedy delivery, Alice Perfect. This is a German customer. Thank you, my son loves it. Great communication, I arrived quickly. Highly recommend. Received in time, accurately described. Great transaction. Thank you for a great product. Another thing that I do, guys, so if I have 18 of a figure, 
I'll usually take the picture of the worst one. So the customer who gets a better one is even going to be surprised he got better than what he thought. Or if there's a huge difference, I'll just do two different listings. Super, super seller, fast shipping, great seller, fast shipping, awesome, fast shipping, fast shipping, fast shipping, fast delivery, brand new, like stated, fast shipping, excellent, as described, good filters, works better than original, really good filter, super fast shipping. You guys see a trend here? That's what makes it. So when somebody else looks at my feedback, they're like, oh yeah, this guy is super fast shipping. And it makes people buy it and they're reliable. Now, the, the, the super cheap guys, you know, see how you, let me see what that, let's take a, you guys want to see my negative feedback? Okay, let's go look really quick, see if we can find it. Actually, you know what, we have to look through. Okay, let's see if it's on page three. Let's see what our negative feedback was. Should be on page three. Let's see if we see a red one. Ah, there we go. Seller didn't answer questions about the item when asked and then cancel sale. Oh, okay, yeah, so this dude. So my only negative feedback, we didn't even make the sale. Um, The guy bought the item. Then he wanted me to take some different pictures, and he said, "Well, he's not buying it for for, for a guitar. He's gonna try to modify it on um, on a speaker." And you know, the emails he sent me was really rude, really demanding. Uh, he thought I was working for him, um, and he told me right away, "Like, well, if you don't follow the steps, I don't know if I can give you positive feedback." So as soon as he said that, I just canceled it. I canceled the sale, and I made a huge mistake. I'm gonna give you guys a lesson. I could have I could have canceled it in a different way where he could have never left that feedback, and that's gonna be in a different video because this video is already 51 minutes. But um, yeah, I made a huge mistake on that thing, and um, I got a negative feedback. But the guy actually didn't buy it. So the only negative feedback is somebody that actually didn't have a transaction with us. But I already knew he was going to break that item. He was talking about if he could solder it and open it up and, you know, what the return policies were. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I already know where this is going. So I didn't want to do the sale. I never relisted the item either. So I need to actually relist that. Um, okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys two really. I'm going to read a couple of your feedbacks. So one of the negative feedbacks, you know, negative comments that somebody just said, um... And I'm going to make this quick. If you guys want me to go through some comment videos, let me know. I'll answer them in person. But so this guy just left me a feedback with the $3,000 video with the baseball cards. He said, you guys are idiots. You overpaid. Renee, you're lying. The guy's actually been watching for a long time. Now he deleted the whole thread on his part. So I'm assuming that maybe he saw the light because one of his comments was, uh, Renee, $3,000 is not worth it. You don't make any money. You didn't sell that. I'm like, you're lying. I'm like, okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you... I doubt, you give me a thousand dollars. You come over to the store because he said he was local in San Diego. We'll film the whole thing. We'll make a video out of it, like uh, haters proven wrong. And I'm gonna show you the timestamp. Whenever you take videos, pictures, the cameras actually do timestamps. So that's way to ver ways to verify that. I think it's the met metadata of the video or the photograph. Might be a different term, but whatever. You guys get the idea. So just verify the timestamp. Then I'm gonna take you down to the store. I said my friend Robert actually ended up buying that deal, and he's a huge baseball card dealer. He has like I think almost a hundred thousand cards on comps or something like that. By the way, he's a YouTube channel. Go check it out. Collecting dust hobbies. He paid me $7,000 for the collection. So I said, like, what I'm going to do, we're going to go down to the store, and you're going to see a transaction in his name by Discover Cart, um, even with the tax resale numbers for $7,000. If I don't show you that transaction, so we shoot the video, and within two hours, we do the transaction. If I don't show you that, I'll give you $1,000 back plus $10,000. And then he got mad. He's like, rah, rah, rah. he goes like, yeah, you're probably a trust fund baby. He made that in the same comment. I'm like, not a deal. Give me $2,000 because I'm going to give $1,000 to my account and $1,000 for me. I'm a gambling man. I'll take bets all the time, okay? Especially when I know I'm a 100% winner. I'm going to have you go with my account and let's say for the last 10 years, you can go through all my financial records of money incoming. If you find one single trust fund payment, I'll give you another $25,000 um, and you $2,000 back. But if not, I get to keep the $2,000. Then he got really mad. So then it got to the point where he said, I'm 500 pounds. And he made the usual fat choke. He trapped a bunch of F-bombs in, which that I had to delete. Because whenever you guys curse, I have to delete those comments. Uh, I tried to speak to him in a sense. And then he just quit it, you know. But so we get haters like that all the time. They, they can never, ever make good comments. You know, they, they want to all do all this stuff. And it just doesn't make sense. Like this guy right here. This, he just left this comment one hour ago. WebRick33. Shout out to you for being an idiot. These videos are staged. You know you load them up. You load up. You know you load up them buildings and units with the same old eh, crap. You care so I've delete this and then film it like you found it. Why do I say this? 
You, the only one on YouTube I see finding all these lost head and storage buildings, units, whatnot, full of comics, record toys, and cars, whatever. All right, web break number 33. So you got to work on your English, buddy. Um, I hope you're from a different country. If you're actually American and you live in America, whew, tough future, man. Take the time, drop the iPad, do stuff like that, learn English. Um, and I barely speak English, so if, if I can't understand your English, that's really rough. That's really rough. Your cr grammar's tough. But... Um, there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll do a video where I look at other people's find, uh, you know, what the hell find stuff all the time. Crimes finds fun stuff. Storage auction pirate just bought one for thirty-four thousand. Uh, there's another video out there where somebody bought a whole warehouse of Funko Pop figures. So that's finds out there. Um, just do more research and go look for the stuff. The deals are out there. I mean, I mean, I'm successful. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I'm also living in California where there's a lot of stuff out there, and I'm good at what I do. Uh, by the way, guys, a lot of you guys have been waiting for that hundred thousand dollar palette video. How do we do it? I'm gonna plan on filming this in this new format this week sometimes. Um, so I, I don't know what to tell you, Webrick, but you're an idiot. Uh, somebody's talking right to DC Alex from Curiosity Inc. Huge warehouse toy figure purchase. Um, I don't know. Is that? Um, I think that's the Funko Bob deal, isn't it? So, I run a vintage choice. So how, how do you get so much inventory? Teach me. Um, subscribe to the channel. That's Deliverance. We teach all the time and we give tips and tricks all the time. Let's see what the new comments. I'm going to refresh this with you guys live. We'll do a couple more minutes because I said I'm going to read some comments. What app or device do you use to scan these items to get the current selling prices? Eric, really good question, Eric. So we used to use a thing called Needle Scan for Amazon, but now you don't have to do that anymore. Right in the uh, eBay app, if you have, uh, download the eBay app and then uh, give it, let it, make sure you're allowed to give it access to your camera. A lot of people don't do that. You can go in a search bar and then actually click on the barcode item and scan it, and you get a lot of scan reviews. It's not always 100% accurate because people have to have the item code in there, or eBay has to know the item code, but that's a good way to start. Uh, health for review. Let's see some bad ones. Dave J. Okay. I, I read him first because I want to make sure I don't want to read any curse words. Dead idiot is still around. He's a snake in a crass. Just always made himself look so bad on camera. Like Trump. Classless. It's all about the money. Nothing else matters. Uh... So I, I actually, I don't think he's talking about me. He's actually talking about Dave because it's in a Dave Hester video. Um, guys, we're in business. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So if I don't pay my credit card, they charge me 24% interest, okay? I think, you know, some credit cards are like 5%, 10%, but that's what they charge us. If I go to see my doctor, it's expensive as hell. And me and my doctors are friends, okay? If I don't pay my mortgage, they take my house. If I don't pay my car payment, they take my car. Uh, if I do anything with the government, the government always says, you know, um, which is really funny. There's a rule here in California. You're not supposed to charge more than 3% interest a year or something like that. I don't know the exact percentage, but it's really low. It almost doesn't make sense to me in business. But on the government, if you don't pay your bill after 30 days, it's 100% interest. Go figure, okay? Every time I do something, people charge me. People tell me all the time, you know, real estate our agents, if I sell a house for a million dollars, they want 3% of that. So we're in business. We're going to charge money. That's what we do. Uh, Casey's sneaking. I can smell the food. Is the food ready? This is like already a 58-minute video. And we didn't even go through everything. So, But it's a new thing. We try to see how people like it. But, you know, Dave is in business. Here's to, here's to make money. He's not for charity. So... um contains question let me take this right let me get out of you uh piece of lock is gonna fly up and hit your eye safety class man oh yeah no you guys are right eric that's a really good comment when when i was cutting some of this stuff you should be wearing safety classes and i've had that happen before uh same guy new to your channel surprised at all these hater comments sad bit of people what a shame so that's in the military locker people were getting mad because i bought a unit with military stuff in it and uh, that was really far. That video is about to hit a million views. So people were mad. Number one, I made a bunch of money, which I was really surprised because I didn't think it was going to be that good. And uh, because it's military. Guys, military still has to pay their bills. So if a military guy doesn't pay that car payment, uh, they repossess their car. And people attack me that I'm bad because I buy a military person's unit. Guess what? Every day, and I told a lot of people, I'm like, hey, if you really feel about that, you know, you want, you, you're very generous with my money. Uh, if you want to buy military units and you want to pay them off, I can give you a hundred every week. 
you know, that's just in California. So they sell all the time. People still have to pay their bills. I'm the first part. I see a veteran or military person eating by themselves. I usually tell the waitress, go ahead and put, put his thing on my bill, okay? Um, I donate to military organizations. I get military guys coming in. Some of my really good friends are military people. So, you know, they accuse you of a lot of stuff and hate stuff just because they don't agree. At the end of the day, we're still in business. Um, because you're in the military... You know, thank you for your service and everything, and I appreciate you, but you still got to pay your bills. And by the way, most of the military guys are very honorable people, and they agree with that. They still have to do their stuff, so that's what makes the country work. We have to do our stuff. Uh, Bald Barber says, guys, that was a great video. Can't wait for part two. What an amazing lot. That's an hour ago. Uh, Bald Barber, you're late. Part two and three is already uploaded. It's the 25,000 action figures. Steven said, what a score. Uh, John Doe asked about the 25,000 action figures. Did that guy pass away? I just want to get rid of his collection. He did pass away. Uh, that GameCube controller OEM probably go for 150 to 125. So I don't know which one you're talking about. I, we just showed one in the video that we sold for 200. And I think the other one is listed for 150. Um, you know what, guys? This video is over an hour long. It's way too long. So I'm actually going to stop the video right now. Plus, I got food ready. I want you guys to leave in the comment section. Um... What do you think about this type of video? Actually, let's go big here. There you go. See the big Renee. What do you think about this type of video? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Do you want it to be longer? Do you want me to go through more items? I try to tell um, stories about the different things. So um, just to kind of give you feedback. Because there's so much stuff going on. I forget about stuff. Uh, but you see, so like you said, I mean, I don't know what the total was. I think $81,000 the last 90 days. Now, remember, that includes shipping and taxes. But still, we easily clear 50 grand on that. And, you know, people get mad and say, Renee, you're so lucky. You should be rich. Or you should do this. Or you shouldn't share success. The reason I do it, I want to inspire you guys. I want to show you you can do it, okay? It's not that hard to do. You just got to dedicate yourself. And whatever keeps your time, stop doing it. And it's like a video game. Like, this number to me is a video game score. Some people try to get high points in Fortnite. In Fortnite, I try to get high points on eBay. And because of eBay, so all that money, you know, I spent it. That's just, you know, just the last three months, we spent $45,000 on rent uh, between the store storage and a couple other things and, and a few other bills. And the store's been locked. So that money goes right to that. But at least I didn't have to dip into my savings. At least I didn't have to worry about going out of business. So, which we're a lot better off than other businesses. But you guys can do this too. And the reason we share this stuff, we want to inspire you guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, um, if you really appreciate what you can do, join the membership. There's going to be extra benefits for that too. And um, I don't know, different type of video. Hope you guys like it. Peace. Smash that like button.